straight to the point. Nobody explained anything to me about marriage. I've been married 15 years, and I believe she's going to rush me to my death. She always tells me to do stuff. Hurry up and do this. Hurry up and sit down. You know what? My theory is, I think she's trying to kill me, y'all. Well, recently I put on my Facebook, I'm sick as a dog, and I think I'm going to die. Nine hours later, she was the only one that liked it. <laughs> and her comment was, hurry up. <laughs> said, no, thank you. This is ridiculous. Um, like I said, I've been married 15 years. I love living in my wife's house. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am a part of a mixed marriage. Um, I'm black, and my wife is church black. <laughs> Um, she likes to visit lots of churches in the Norfolk area. And what I don't understand is, there, everywhere you go, there's always a First Baptist Church. Somebody lying, somebody's not first. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, do, I go to church with her. And uh, the reason why she picked her church is according to Yelp reviews and Facebook recommendations. <laughs> I went to church downtown Norfolk, yeah, I was frightened, I was terrified, I'm 5'5", five, five, I don't fight. These people in this church look menacing. We went into church, all the people with mustaches look rough. I'm talking about the ladies, y'all. Um, there was a lot of red flags in this church. Um, as we get in, um, I love Communion Sunday because um, I like to order double wine, no cracker. So we're, we're in this church, and my wife said, um, do you like, you like the music Sunday, right? I said, yeah, the wine of crackers. She said, okay, well, be calm. So the first red flag, um, so they started playing Take Me to the King. And she said, you like the music? I said, yes. They played Amazing Grace. Somebody yelled, yo, that's my shit. <laughs> Baby, this is not the church for us. And then the next red flag, the pastor's preaching, and he said, can I get a witness? Then the next person yelled, I ain't a snitch. I <laughs> said, baby, this is not the church for us. She said, it's communion Sunday. I said, okay, cool. For communion, they served Hennessy and cheeses. I said, baby, this is the church for us. So we say, <laughs> commercials, I observe commercials at night because my wife is sleeping and I'm by myself. But anyway, there was a, a phone sex commercial. It said we got white girls press one, we got black girls press two. I said that's weird, like how can this conversation go? White girls, boom. Hey big boy, I got on my lace underwear and I'm about to feel all over my body. No, that's boring. We got black girls press two. Hey, big boy, I'm about to rub all over my body and I got my blind wig on and I'm about to figure. Hold on. Oh, it's now. Get the film on the phone. <laughs> this is not what I'm trying to hear. Uh, last but not least, I promised my wife, I said I'm a man of my word, and I said if Donald Trump becomes president of the United States, we're going to move to another country. She said, where are we going to move to? I said, Suffolk, Virginia, we're going to be safe. <laughs>